We all desperately want children to know the deep love of Christ, but the weight of adequately communicating the gospel can feel daunting. The good news is that we have help. The Holy Spirit will equip us to teach kids about salvation as He readies their hearts. We have to be careful not to put the salvation of our children solely on our shoulders. We call her to teach the gospel and to live it, but we should not force it. Their salvation is ultimately their decision and a commitment that is between them and God. Salvation is a beautiful, grace-filled gift, and as we share the joy of salvation, we can do so while seeking the wisdom of our Father. We can entrust our children to Him and remember that their salvation is not by our doing, but by the precious death and resurrection of Jesus. We can be gentle and patient with their hearts as our Father lavishes the same love on us. Let's look at a few key things to keep in mind as you prepare to share the gospel with a child. When a child is growing curious about faith and salvation, they will start asking questions to dig deeper on what they're learning in church or at home. When a child asks a question, often they do not know exactly what to ask. Get clarification before deciding how to answer a question. For example, you might say, tell me about what you're thinking. What made you ask that question? Or where did you hear about this? Remember, many times the question a child asks may not be the actual question for which he's needing an answer. Avoid asking questions that can be answered with yes or no. When it comes to something important like salvation, adults can be tempted to tell all they know on a subject. We sometimes think that we need to cover the topic thoroughly. However, when a child asks a question, only answer what the child is asking. If a child asks for more information, be specific with your answers, but do your best to avoid long explanation. Remember, a curious child still has a short attention span. When having gospel conversations with children, it's tempting to assume that we know the reason for certain questions or responses. A child may ask, why do my friends get baptized? This question may only be a request for information, not a request for the gospel presentation. It's okay to explain baptism and why it's important and valuable, but don't assume the child is asking to take a tangible step towards faith. Avoid symbolic analogies that may distract from discussion and understanding. Stay away from church language that requires prior knowledge about the Bible or church life. Metaphors or symbolism can make a simple conversation about Jesus more complicated, undermining the point of using that kind of tool. 